Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Incremental Googology video, episode 7, and as promised, I can get to the uh, automatons, or automaton, I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but it's weird, it's Bimax Zero Only Bashiku Matrix, and that's basic, well, that, that's it for now, so it's not very complicated, but it looks like it's almost something like a pared down version of the automator in Ant's Matter Dimensions. So that's, that's interesting. I can also disable if I don't want to do it. Except I don't think this is... Is this even disabling anything? I'm like, Let's see. If, if this, It's not even disabling anything. So how do I... Oh, so I just... I have to delete it. That's, that's interesting. I don't think... I mean, I could try to go for automatons, but I want to do some... Fast run. Actually, if I do want to do fast runs, I do want to enable this. So here we go. I just do this as fast as possible. I've already wasted a lot of time this run, so it's only going to be really next run that I really use this. But this is really nice. Now the only buttons I need to click are the unlocks, and that's it. So yeah, you can, you can see how much. Well, it's not all that much quicker it's mostly just because of the automation and like these upgrades aren't actually that powerful so let's see e77 and just get all of these get the e57 and then i will easily make it to e100 and then i do the whole thing over again hopefully quickly so here we go just try to spam click this button so e13 e14 here's where the base thing is going to come, um, get these two, then probably wait until E38, because that's, that's most likely faster, get every reset, even the E57, it's probably worth it also to get the E70 something, I'm not sure if that is faster, well, I'm going to do one run without that afterwards, and see if I, if it's any faster, so, See, this is, this is already 1.878, but now it is 2.106. And now I'm going to try it without doing the E78 reset. So here's a new base number. Get this. Now I wait until E38. Get that. Get just everything except the E78 thing. And let's see if this is actually faster. So... I can get it now, I'm at E80, it's starting to slow down a little bit, because just it's just the nature of the polynomial, polynomial growth game, that is incremental Googology, and yes, it is polynomial growth, not tetrational, unfortunately, and here we go, was that faster? It was not faster, so that's interesting. This upgrade's also up to three times, which is also interesting, so what I'm going to try to do now is... I'm going to try to go for some achievements. The first one I'm going to go for is, but why they're all base 2, which is by a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, that's 7 zeros, without even seeing 0, 0, 3. This means I don't, that means I can't upgrade the base, and I need to unlock, like, a bunch of times. So this is a little bit, this will take a while, maybe I shouldn't be doing it now, but the reward is pretty decent, so why not? The thing is that here's the real problem. I need to get all the way to E57 with this, and it's probably possible. Maybe it's not worth it at this point, though. I'm going to say it's not worth it, and instead I'm going to go for a couple of other things. Like, let's see. I don't actually, I can't really go much farther than E100 without having to wait a, a lot of time, so I think I'm going to do one more run here. And then I'm going to try something else. And this is the... Uh, I could try to get It Seems Far Away. It's a very weak reward. I really want to get that as what increment means. Because that gives me a row reward. So, I, I in order to do that, I need to disable my automatons. And do a fast growing hierarchy prestige. If I can find it. Here it is. So, Basically, I need to get the amounts of 0, 2 is less than 0, 0, 2, which is less than 0, 0, 0, 2, which is less than blah, blah, blah. Well, if there's only three of them, it shouldn't be too hard, right? And that's 
<laughs> that that's where the trouble begins because here's the problem i can only really use well maybe if i i've tried this a bunch before with including base three i'm not sure if that works so maybe maybe, maybe what i can do i'm going to hold the zero key down which does the same thing as the automaton and then unlock base three and get the e78 upgrade so Here's the E38. Also, it's like E76, not E78. I don't know why I keep saying E78. So, here we go. Let me stop holding down zero. And so now it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to start gaining number because now I have like cubic growth instead of linear growth of my number. So that's kind of why I want to do this. I can also get all the base three upgrades and those will all help. And yes, I'm going to use save states again. I'm going to save one and actually, no, get this first, then save one. And then try to spam that. And I just can't get this achievement. I, I just can't do it. I don't know why. Like, I, I, I try my hardest, but it just never works. And I don't, I don't know why. I, I don't know how I got it in... Like the game in the non moda game because it feels almost impossible to get. If I set my update interval to the slowest, you can see like it, this instantly starts going way higher than one. So I don't know what to. I don't. I really don't know what the strategy is for this. Maybe I wait until E twelve because that does get me another one of these upgrades and maybe that's all it takes i'm gonna try that but my hopes are not very high so i only need 1.1 e12 which is i guess pretty nice but that doesn't really mean much like i can spam as hard as i can and yeah i still can't get this i don't know how i'm supposed to get some of these achievements because it's like anti tables, how the anti tables have turned, but like on steroids because it's the amounts which require fiddling with stuff you can't really fiddle with. I mean, I can try it one more time in using the really, really slow update rate. If I can grab this, if I can grab the slider, that is. For whatever, for whatever reason, it's really hard to grab the slider. But here we go. Um. It is slowest update rate, and that that was not very fast. Yeah, of course I'm not going to get it there. Um, well, okay, I can grab the slider at least. Okay, that was faster, and I still couldn't get it. I'm I'm sure that was within a single update rate. Like I can even try to time it. It's like da 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 da. da. Yep, I, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to get, get this at all. There's a chance I could try to use a challenge to get it. So, like, like I could abuse the fast growing hierarchy challenge one so that the. When buying any zero only Bashigo Matrix, I could, like, try to get. Try to get the second dimension. Or I can get. Try to get the second and third want like the zero 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 lesser it's i don't know why i'm going so much for the single achievement but i am so like like what i'm what i'm talking about is that because of how well i i'm first just gonna get it speak because that's a very easy boost so like i can nerf some of these to make it not generate and that's maybe what i need to do Ironically, unfortunately, the costs are really low here, so I have to like get at least one, and that's gonna start you know buffing it ever, buffing it all, and yeah, it's just it's just not happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna set the update rate back to back to the regular because it is so <laughs> it is so crappy like this. Um. Also, I can't really get any farther here. 
Um, so I, I, should, I, I, should, I should exit the challenge and try this later because this is impossible. But here's the other thing. The fast growing hierarchy upgrades make it harder to abuse this strategy. So what do I do? I've decided I'm going to try this again because that's, I think, the really the only thing I actually can do here. So just... Yeah, get, get, oops, get this, get the highest cost thing. I know I've already done this, but I guess I have to do it again, because there isn't really any other way. I can probably fast track this to get E15, and then, oops, I shouldn't have done that. Um, it's probably fine, I just need to get the, to, to the next base unlock. Um, I need E19, I probably shouldn't have done this. Because now I'm get barely gaining anything. And that's where this challenge sucks. Okay, here is the new base number thing. So this means I can finally unlock base threes. Which will make things of equal or greater cost weaker. Which I want to make... I want to make this weaker. Um, at the very least. And I don't, I don't know what I can do to nerf the 16. Because that is super, super cheap. Yeah, let's just... It's just not happening. Well, well, the thing is, if I get to... <laughs> if, I, if I unlock, that's going to make it worse. Because now I need to do... Now I need to do it to the fourth one. So, what do I do here? Well, I'm going to use a save state. That's one thing. And then I'm just going to poke around and see what I can do. Okay, I just noticed something. The, cha the third challenge here is similar to vanilla infinity why, why do i say vanilla here it's not infinity just regular challenge two in antimatter dimensions where that buying any zero only magic matrix disable multipliers exponentially coming back in one minute and basically this means at the beginning right when i buy stuff everything's going to be extremely nerfed that is i think that is the key to getting that is what increment means so yeah you can see just how slow it is even here and it just takes such a long time for everything to come back. So I will have to wait here. And this is definitely not going to be the run where I do it. Because, well, it's it's going to take a long time to get anywhere. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to get this. I'm not, I'm not trying to complete the challenge. I'm just trying to um, maybe get a base unlock and then... I'm going to attempt to get this going. I need to get E7, though, which is rough. And also, this challenge, it's, it says only buying any zero-only Bashi Matrix disables multipliers, even though it doesn't seem to be disabling them, because this is coming back up to 1. So, I don't, I don't know what to do here. I mean, I can unlock. It goes back to 0. Let's let's see if it goes back to zero if I can get when I get sixteen. So waiting, 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 and yeah, it does go back to zero. So this means what I should do is I should I should start with just one of these and then wait an entire minute so I get the full one times multiplier, and then I just wait for E seven, and then I quickly buy two of the of the third dimension these i'm calling them dimensions like antimatter dimensions and then that's how i can get that is what increment means at least that's what i hope i'm also noticing something weird it seems to be going back to one faster and faster which is not like infinity you're not, not infinity challenge two in antimatter dimensions so i could do this i could try to start it right here and we'll see if this works. I need E7, so I'm not really sure. 101.6 is not E7, unfortunately. However, there is another trick up my sleeve, and that's all the base 3 numbers. Which means that I can, I can gain a lot more number than I was before. And maybe I can even use that to keep this multiplier low. Okay, I'm closing in on the E7. I'm going to use a save state just to see how expensive this really is in the E7. It's 1.678 E7, so I was very close. And now 
I buy two of these, and do I get it? Do I get it? I still don't get it. Ooh, that's bad. I have an idea, though. What if I buy the second one, and then very quickly buy the third, like this? Does that get me it? Still no. Oh my god. That is, this is rough. This is a very, very rough thing. The, the multipliers are still just too powerful, and they come back too quickly. Which is just such a weird thing for me to say. I'm just going to try a few more times, and if I do get it, I'll keep that in the recording. Oh, there we go. Okay. My strategy was I bought... I reversed the order of it. I, did, I bought two of these and then immediately bought one of these after. And finally, I really just wanted this achievement. I The reward is real, really just that the zero only base two Mashigu matrices are 5% strong. And every row multiplies number gained by a paltry 1.2 times. And since I'm in Challenge 3, maybe I could just beat it. <laughs> Ever think of that? Like, just, I can max things. But the exponent's going real a lot quicker than before. I don't know why, but it is. Which helps me, like, get another unlock. And the reward of the challenge is, I think it's another automator. It's... It's a it's the zero one n auto auto buyer. So basically, it automates just this part, which isn't all that much, but hey, it's at least something. So here is the E thirty eight up unlock. I was gonna say upgrade, but it's more of an unlock. Now I have to wait a little bit more for or to get the rest of the unlocks. I'm not sure if I want the E seventy seven or whatever unlock, but it might be useful. I'm I'm not sure. I'm just going to do the rest of this. It's pretty boring. It's basically just a normal run, except I don't click buy max very much. And that that's it. So, yes, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm close to beating the challenge. Here's the E70 something, but I don't need that. And the multiplier is coming back really quickly, and it's interesting how it, I don't really see anything until it's right at 1 because now I have like a lot more multipliers going. So here it is, challenge complete. I get another automaton, which is the buy zero one n. So that's pretty cool, I guess. And what, what's ooh? There's another thing. I did. I didn't. I didn't see that this was a thing. There is no indication that this mechanic would be a thing. It's called items. Fast scoring hierarchy prestige erases. Fast screen hierarchy items generated by higher level ones? I have no idea what that is. I might just want to get something like Zero Lum instead, but I'm not sure. Maybe it could even go for fast growing hierarchy challenge 2 instead. And the mechanism is that the Bashiku matrices decay exponentially based on how fast your number grew in previous resets. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. It starts it seems to start off very fast. I'm I'm gonna enable my automatons here. Enable all, and I think I think I think I want this to have a higher priority. So I can already basically just with these three, I can I can unlock the, the next base. And this is in the challenge, so I don't know this challenge doesn't see. Oh, um, okay then. And there's no way to lose a reset, so. Um, okay then. <laughs> maybe, maybe what I do in this challenge is I wait a while for the resets because you can see if I do it quickly, yeah, it just doesn't do anything. So I guess that's what I do. I'm going to, I'm going to again, grind all the way to the E19 and then probably grind. I don't even know, maybe as far as the E38. And just do very, very small runs. Or, or not small runs. Well, here's... Or not small. They need to be long. That's the problem. So, I can't just, you know, get this. I should probably disable my auto buyers. Because, look at this. I, I'm actually... They're still decaying. So, let's... Let's disable this automaton. 
and unlock this. And it's, well, I don't have much time, so I guess I gotta go, except uh, this is also going down. So this challenge is actually very hard. I'm not gonna go for it. <laughs> Maybe instead I'll get an item, but it's, it boosts all zero only Bastion matrices. Why not? I'm gonna get it. It boosts it by one. <laughs> okay, that's not very good. I don't even know if it's... It, I don't think it's doing anything. But at least it's something. F sub 2 of 3, it's exponential. That's what F sub 2 is in the fast growing hierarchy. And maybe I should enable my automaton again. And I mean, it seems to be pretty fast. I mean, it's, it looks a lot faster, so I'm going to say this is faster. I'm not quite sure if it's faster, but let's let's get let's get a fast growing hierarchy prestige. Just do this part really quickly. Yeah, def this is way faster than it was before. I can probably even get the E70 something reset, and boom, there it is. That probably took like ten seconds. Um, it doesn't say what the fastest. Well, it does say where the fast is, but it's not 514 seconds. So I'm not really sure where that comes from. But this is now 2.852, which is interesting. And maybe I can try to push farther. And maybe I could even get something like the but why they're all base 2. So that that's what I'm going to do. Just unlock here. Oops. I Well, yeah, the automaton exists. And I should probably disable it. If I want to get, but why they're all base two? Well, that's okay. I can get more. I can get another one of these fast growing hierarchy number, and then it's pretty easy to, well, at least get this unlock. The next unlock is not so easy, even with the uh, presumably one times boost from this. While I'm waiting for the E fifty seven, I'm noticing something. This seems like sixty. It seems like it's going up by 60 per second. So I should just divide 514 by 60 when, when I'm trying to determine my time. So that's about 8.5, 8.6 seconds. So that's that's pretty quick right there. And I'm now very getting very close to E57. Unfortunately, it's 6.27 E57. So that's going to take a bit of time, but it won't be too bad. So here it is. I can um, I can do the next unlock. I think I still need to get to E57. Or no, I don't. And yeah, there it is. But why? They're all base 2. So now the only one I need is It Seems Far Away, which is have 16 different kinds of zero-only Bashiku matrices. And yeah, that's, that, that's a bit of a tough one. It requires kind of a lot of grinding, which means I need to make my number very big. So here's... I have the E78 thing. I can get... An E115 unlock, but then after this, the unlocks are very sparse. Well, actually, no, there, there is one at E152, so I can get the E152 unlock, the E115, and the next unlock is E231, which is kind of a lot. And you can see, yeah, things start to slow down. I could probably get to E231, but remember, in episode 4... I need to get to E305 here, and that was like the enormous, like, whatever, months, years, long time wall. Not I'm sure how long it was, but I I really do think the best strategy is just grinding fast growing hierarchy prestige. And just getting this up, getting the items up. So that's what I'm going to do between this episode and next episode. Next episode, I'm hopefully going to get a lot more stuff. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.